Okay, the purpose of this tutorial is to go ahead and create a computer monitor using Maya and the Extrude tool. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go through a tutorial where we will create this monitor right here. We'll do the buttons. We could even do the little Dell symbol, the texture on the screen, the legs. We'll go ahead and create everything. Kind of hard to see the back of this, so we'll, uh, I'll show you what to do. Okay, so let me go ahead and open up the Maya. Okay. All right, so what we want to do <clears throat> is we're just going to start off with this cube. And we'll make it a little wide here. All right. Now you want to go to face mode and click on that face. You'll have a little dot on yours, but it's close enough. Then you want to go to your polygons menu here and go to edit mesh, extrude. You'll notice that there's no box in the middle here. There's no cube. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on one of these and it just displayed a cube. So go ahead and take it and scale it down. This is going to be the start of our stand. Okay. That's good. Now click on the face again and hit G on your keyboard and go ahead and pull the face out of it just like that right about there make kind of not too not too much here grab the face again and hit G and bring it out a little bit and what I want you to do now is go to the bottom here face mode the move tool or Q computer doesn't want to cooperate with me here <clears throat> there you go and then go to edit mesh edit mesh extrude <clears throat> and scale it in with the red and in with the green. And now we're going to add a mesh extrude again. And just bring it down and over. If you're using your four view, kind of use your side here to, to get a good right there. Go to vertex right there highlight the W and go ahead and bring it down <clears throat> just hitting space bar to go back to that screen now we're gonna do go to face mode and grab this face and go to edit mesh extrude hit W and move it up Now you notice this isn't quite long enough, so I'm going to go to Vertex, go to my side view, just hit spacebar, go to Vertex, click and drag. Now I don't want these selected, so I'm going to hold Control and drag over these two. That'll deselect it, and I'm going to lower that. Again, <clears throat> if you hit Control on your keyboard and drag, it deselects. If you hold the Shift key on your keyboard and drag, it selects. Okay, so that's good. All right. And this is looking a little strange. It's okay though. Grab this face. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh actually. Insert Edge Loop tool right here. <clears throat> and we're going to put an edge loop right there. That's good. Now watch what this does. If I go to Face, I have one here and here. So I just hold shift to get them both. Both of them right under there. That one and that one. I'll do it again. Here, hold shift on your keyboard and that one. Then 
go to Edit Mesh Extrude, and take the blue arrow, just bring them out, and take the red arrow and bring them up. And I have a nice little stand. I still don't think this is high enough, so I'm going to go back to my side view. I'm going to go to Vertex, Highlight. I'm going to bring this down like that. Okay. And now I'm going to take these. I'm going to highlight these vertices. Right click, Vertex. Highlight these vertices. And bring it down and over, just like that. Let's bring it up a little bit. Okay. Space bar, space bar. Okay, this looks pretty good. Go to face mode. Grab this one. And scale it. Let's give it a little bit more style. Okay. So there you go. If you go to object mode, looks pretty good. Now we're going to make the, uh, <clears throat> the screen with a bezel. Go to face mode. Select the face. Edit Mesh Extrude. Now notice there's no box in the middle here, so we're going to click this box, and that displays this box in the middle. You're going to click and drag just to right there. And now we're going to Edit Mesh Extrude one more time. You're going to drag this arrow, click it, and bring it in just a bit. So if I go to Object Mode, now I have my monitor. Just like that. Very good. Now we're going to do one more thing. Go to face mode, grab this face, and bring it up. There you go. And go to edge, and bring that up. So there you go. Now we're going to texture this screen. What we have to do is we have to go to the internet, and you have to type in screen texture. Let's do desk computer screen texture. Just like that. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get one. Mm -hmm. um, not getting a whole lot here. Windows desktop. Texture. Nope, everything's blocked here. This would look cool. Let's use that. Right click, save image as, save it to your H drive. I'm going to put it on the desktop, save it to your H drive. Okay. After you've done that, what I want you to do is go to face mode and select this face. Well, first let's do the whole monitor. Let's make the monitor black. Object mode, make sure you're in object mode, let go. Right click, assign new material, and you're going to choose Lambert. Yours is a little bit different. I want you to choose Lambert. And then go to color. You can do like nice white. That looks kind of cool. And then we can watch what we could do here. Go to face. Highlight these. Right click. Assign new material. Blend. And then you could, you know, make that different color. It's cool. Okay. Now go to face mode. Select this face. Right click. Assign new material. Choose Lambert. In this color box, <clears throat> this is going to look like yours. Click this file. And then click File. Yours will look a little bit different, but it's, it's similar. And then you want to go to where it says Image Name. Your side here is going to be a little bit larger than mine. Click that. And for you, go to your H drive and choose the um, texture you just saved. So I just save the blue abstract wall. Hit 6 so you can see it. Okay. You see how you can't really see it? Go to face mode, select it. And just go to create UVs, planner map, option. Make sure you're in polygons first. Create UVs, planner map, option. And you want to choose the blue arrow is going through the face, and the blue is. Uh, Z. So you want to choose Z axis, project. And. Okay. That's pretty good. 
just like that. There you go. You have a nice little computer monitor. Um, you can choose a different texture if you'd like. That's really up to you. The main concepts in this tutorial were to teach you how to use the extrude tool and to teach you how to um, apply basic textures. Uh, again, face mode, select that. Create UVs, planner map because it's a plane. Option and choose. Take your move tool and you choose whatever arrow is going through the face. Whatever arrow is called normal or perpendicular. And that's it. There you go. There's other things you could choose. I actually uh, chose the wrong one. Mine was broken window glass, so I'm going to go ahead and just put that one on real quick. So I'm just going to right click, assign existing, assign new material. Uh, Lambert, I'm just going to try this one more time. Oh, didn't want to do that. Face mode, click that face. If I click this arrow here, you don't have to do all this. I'm just trying to fix it real quick to see what happens. Uh, color. I'm just going to choose the broken. It's broken window. See if I can find it here. There you go. That's what I wanted. Awesome. That looks better. And there you go. It's like a computer monitor with a little broken thing. And you could always add, you know, the Dell. I'll uh, quickly show you how to do that. I'm, I'm running out of time here. So just go to Create Text, Create Text option, and type in Dell. And uh, you know, it doesn't matter what you do. You're going to do polys. Just do polys. And um, Create. You're obviously going to have to tweak this to get it to, to get the right text on, though. And last thing I'm going to do is go to face. I like the faces. Let me just move that on there. I'm kind of running out of time here, so I will be quick. And then uh, maybe I'll show you another video on how to how to get this to look better. Right there. It's got my little Dell, and you could you know put your little buttons up and stuff. Okay. I hope you found this interesting and uh, useful.